Hello, fellow YouTubers, and ooh, hello. Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Psychonauts. So, yeah, if, if we just stay on the screen for a while, we'll get the credits for the game a little bit earlier, since, you know, you usually get credits at the end of the game. Anyway, Psychonauts is going to be season 13 of Watch Me Fail. Now, this game, despite it being, I think, made in 2004 or 5, I don't remember when it was made, um... I didn't actually find out about it until probably two years ago, and I haven't, I have, I've only beaten it once, but I enjoyed the crap out of this game, so I want to enjoy the crap of this game again, and this is actually going to be my first time playing it with a controller, since I'm using my, I, I bought this on the Xbox 360 as an Xbox original, because I played, I played it on the computer, but my computer is pretty much a toaster at this point, and the only thing it's good for is capturing video, a, a recording video and editing, and even that it struggles with. So I might need to get a new computer sometime during this year. Also, it's 2014. I should mention that. Happy New Year, everyone. Start up 2014 with a brand new video game. Tried to do the same thing last year, but missed it by one day. Anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting a new game. I mean, we have the option to either load a saved game, uh, start, uh, continue an old game, or play a new game. Obviously, we're going to play a new game since that's what we do on Watch Me Fail. Play through a new game, try and get 100% or as, as close to 100% as possible and then with the occasional fail fail counter should be brought back in this game i mean there wasn't a lot of times where i could fail i guess in mario and luigi superstar saga there might have been some points where i could have added numbers but i don't know i'm gonna consider a lot there's gonna be a lot more fails in this game i can i can see already but let's just start the game the human mind 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. <laughs> they told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happened. Yeah, Dogen. Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Bodello. Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it 
right over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid! Get in! My name... Starts with a D. ...is Rasputin. But everybody calls me... Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you. But we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find? What they don't expect? is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda. But now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not going to let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. That was a very long cutscene. I, I forgot how long that was. Anyway, we have the opportunity now to pick a profile. Let's see. Oh, I have one here. Oh, that's my, that's my, old, that's my only one so far. I don't know why I named it Bucky. I could have just named it myself. But, uh, let's see. You have three options. I kind of want Top Bunk. Let's, let's pick this one. So, well, I already have a file named Bucky. What am I going to name this one? Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea what we can name this. I wonder if I could use the... Let's see if we can use this. No, I can't. Okay. I have a, I have a chat pad attached to my controller. Oh, let's name it. <laughs> let's name it this. I'm pretty sure some people might get the joke. <laughs> but since I already have one named Bucky, and I don't really want to use my name, because I'll, I'll just use that on the third file whenever I play this for fun, we'll just pick Pubert.
That's his nickname. His name is Raz, but his nickname is Pubert now. All right, settle down in here. Big day tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way, if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a Psy Challenge Marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me, if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these Psy cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! So I finally gained control of the game. <laughs> Complete Coach Oleander's obstacle course. As you see, we have that. Ooh, what buttons are those? Oh, those are black and white. <laughs> yeah, this is this is definitely an Xbox original. Uh, I gotta remember which one, which button's black now, and which button's white on a 360 controller. No, they switched it to the bumpers, but still. So it's been about 13 minutes. I'm going to try and make episodes last about this long. And seeing as how Coach Oleander's uh, level, and I mean level, uh is a basic tutorial level kind of like we just learned how to control the camera and controlling the character is pretty easy it's the control stick i don't think the d-pad no d-pad doesn't do anything of importance yet there's one thing i want to do first and that is you do I really need a, a a tutorial on how to operate this we want let's see i think it's sound yes the subtitles so you're gonna see some some you're gonna see me make subtitles for everything that just happened in the past 13 minutes, which is gonna be gonna be very fun. Have fun with that, future me. But other than that, this this series should be a lot less edit heavy than Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, and it should be it should be a lot shorter. I think. I mean, I mean, granted, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga should have probably been a lot longer than it really was, but I cut out most of the battles. This is a, this is also a semi RPG. It's like an RPG platformer, although we haven't really gotten to the platforming stuff yet. And we just had a basic instruction on how to level up in this game. But anyway, on the next episode of Psychonauts, and yeah, episodes for Psychonauts are going to try and be around 10-15 minutes just to make it a little a little easier for me. <laughs> and because, well, this really isn't a very long game. And I don't, I don't want to drag it out, but I don't really want like a 40-minute episode to start off the beginning. But anyway, on the next episode of Psychonauts, we're going to be heading up to the tree fort that's right up there and go to Coach Oleander's uh, basic braining. So until next time, hopefully you enjoyed.